Hello everyone, so our lesson today, lesson number two, unit five. So please, open page 48 in learner's book. So we are going to talk about sorting materials. Last semester, we talked about sorting living things. So today, we are going to talk about sorting materials. So again, what are the meaning of sort? Sort to put things into groups. So a material, you can put your material into groups according to their properties. So we are talking about the properties of material last session. We talk about some materials flexible and some materials rigid and some materials soft and hard. So we can put these materials into groups according to their properties. So first group, these materials are sorted into hard and soft group. For example, soft like wool t-shirt and box of tissues and pallon. Hard materials like ice and prick and spoon. So the same objects can be sorted into dull and shiny groups. For example, doll like box of tissues and crack and wall t-shirt and shiny like ice and spoon and pallet. These materials are sorted into flexible and rigid. Flexible materials like rope and paper and rubber is flexible too. Rigid like this cage and stairs of iron and prick. And these materials are sorted into natural materials and man-made materials. Natural materials like cotton, wood and slate. And man-made materials like plastic, paper and glass. So we can sort the materials according to their properties. So there are different ways of sorting. So we have another way to sort materials. It's branching tree. Branching tree is database can be used to identify object. So please choose one from these materials and answer this question. For example, I will choose prick and prick it's hard yes or no yes prick it's hard it's shiny prick it's shiny yes or no no and it's waterproof no so you can choose another material and do the branching tree on it so we are talking about today sorting materials and what are the meaning of sort to put materials into groups and we sorting materials according to their properties.